Um, hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a fully automatic electric furnace uh, room. And it's pretty simple, you're going to need all this. You're going to need three electric, or how many electric furnaces you want. Uh, whatever battery, hammer, industrial conveyors, two of them. A recombinder, pipe tool, button, storage adapters. Uh, two splitters some boxes, an igniter, um, some building plans, wire tools, and solar panels. You can use windmills as well. If you're using windmills, you won't need the recombinder. So we're going to start off by placing however many electric furnaces you want. In this tutorial, I'm just going to be doing three. After that, you want to place your box wherever you want it. This is going to be putting your ores and where they're going to come out then you're going to place your battery I'm just using a medium battery for this example now once you've done that you're going to put your storage adapters on your furnaces and your box place your igniter in front of the furnaces And now you want to place your two splitters. And you're going to place a button and two conveyors. Grab your wiring tool. And you're going to want to put your root combiner next to your solar panels. If you only have one, that's fine, but I'd recommend more than one. You're going to put both the outputs into the root powers and get the combined power. And you're going to bring that all the way into your base and plug that into your battery's power in. Now you're going to grab your battery's power out and put that into the first splitter. You're going to put that splitter into the second splitter you can get another power out and put that into your first conveyor electrical pass through the first conveyor goes into the power input of the second conveyor The electrical pass through of the second conveyor goes into the, the electrical input of the button. The electrical output of the button run down to your power in of the igniter. With the last splitter, you just want to plug each power outlet into the turn on of the furnace. Now we're going to do the piping. You're going to grab your piping tool. The industrial in of the first furnace goes to the out of the second furnace. And the in of the second furnace goes to the out of the third furnace. The in of the third furnace goes to the output of the second conveyor. You're going to put your input of that conveyor into the output 
the adapter in your box. Turn that on. Now the output of the first furnace into the input of your first conveyor. The output of your first conveyor goes into the input of your box. Turn that one on. Now you can put whatever you need smelted into the box. And hit the button. It didn't work in that last clip, but I forgot to let the battery charge. So make sure you do that. So basically, whenever you put something in the box that can be smelted, it'll automatically go into the furnaces and smelt for you. I recommend doing this with a wind turbine, so it works 24-7. But if you're just starting out, solar panels are a great choice.